You must be wondering, wow, Heather, you have very exciting lighting this time. And my answer is, I guess, but mostly it's that my light went out and I'm too lazy to fix it. So, yeah. You won't believe how happy you feel after enjoying a happy Anyway, uh, we are talking about Happy Humble Burger Farm. It's a Itchio game uh, off of Itchio, obviously. It's, it's about 20 bucks. Um, it's about 20 bucks. Um, so if you, if you want to play a pretty good horror game, I'd check it out. But what we're going to talk about is how it associates with schizophrenia. And the reason why is because Michelle and I were watching a walkthrough, who I will mention in this video. And uh, she was like, you know what? Like, does this kind of feel like schizophrenia? And I was like, you know what? Yeah. It, the 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 game did feel very reminiscent of schizophrenia so i thought it'd be kind of a cool video to talk about how these people play happy humble burger farm and think this is absurd how could you possibly experience something like this game and may would like have a hard time understanding how it's kind of a reality for some people. I know, sounds absurd. And you must hear this going, wow, schizophrenia is like happy, humble burger farm? That sounds terrible. And you're right. It is! And for those who don't know what happy, humble burger farm is, it's basically a restaurant simulator where you're working in a restaurant and you just deliver food to people and you as you go as you do it you get like different things happen to you so it's a sort of off i guess there's a lot of things that kind of remind me of schizophrenia i think a, a big one is that the mundaneness of the beginning i think later it gets a little bit a little bit more surreal but the mundaneness of the beginning where you wake up in your apartment and you go to work and there's a lot of horror video games that have that kind of thing i think that's effective it makes it more scary but it's kind of the nature of that that starts to of that start that kind of reminiscent of it because when you have schizophrenia you're trying to have you're trying to partake in your day-to-day -day life. You're trying to go to work. You're trying to uh, hang out with friends. You're trying to get chores done. Like You're trying to get normal things done, but then you're having these horrific hallucinations as you do it. We... Hi. Oh my god! What? So, like, right from the get-go, it's like you're in this apartment, and uh it's like re re resembles an apartment like you look at it you go okay this is an apartment i'm living in an apartment however it's just everything about it is ever so strange and it's not just the graphics it's like the scaling the position of e the furniture like there's just things about it ever so slightly that makes it feel very alienating uh, and it's that's very schizophrenic because you're living in a familiar setting. You're living in your apartment. You know, you live where we live, but it because you have schizophrenia, it starts to feel and look different. So it's kind of like that when you're like walking down the hallway, it's like everything just looks surreal and alien. And things look like corners look darker than they're supposed to be and all that. And this goes into when you go to the restaurant, where the restaurant feels very spaced out. There's a lot of space between things. It's uncomfortable to 
look at. And when you have the delusions of schizophrenia, space, the sense of space, feels similar. So the, it's the visuals of, of the game that are very much like it. Another example is like Toe, the way Toe looks. For me, people's faces were really distorted and like parts of people's faces were bigger or smaller. So his, the way his neck turns, the way his head looks kind of swollen kind of represents schizophrenia. Now, it's not clear what if the what you're seeing in the game are hallucinations or not. They operate very similarly to hallucinations. Like you're going to you're going on the bus or you're going to work and someone's just acting strangely. And no one else seems to really notice. Like if you see gameplay footage which I've been showing. They react, like they, the customers don't really react to the horror that they're seeing. And I'm going to credit Markiplier and Ethan because they're the two, two people that I watch play this game. And I'm going to be using their footage because I think they have really good reactions. I think the, the one thing that's very, uh, what I kind of like about Markiplier and Ethan's reactions to the hallucinations is that, like, at first they're very frightened and they kind of. What the fuck? Uh. Everything? Everything? What the fuck was that? Did you see that? Did you see that little worm guy? Right, alright. There was that dude again! What the fuck? Did you see him? I keep seeing him in places. I keep seeing him in places. I swear to God. He's just crawling around in here. He's. Oh! oh! The fuck are you? Who are you? Hey, um, there's a naked guy in here. And I think that you should take care of him. Okay, bye. Bye. What the fuck was that all about? I didn't like the naked man. Who? What just happened? Okay. Oh, that's normal. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Go away. And then after a while, they're like. This is naked Larry. He likes sprinting around. Bang customer, I can't fault him. There, the naked guy's back. Nick, happy deluxe, no onion. Okay, all right. Larry, get out of my goddamn kitchen. I'm working here. Hey. Hi. You gonna do the thing again? Do it again. Do it. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. Oh. Okay, so apparently he just farts a lot. In the deep fry, your. Hi. Oh my god, Larry. What's wrong with you? I doubled that. Hell yeah. Toes is no. Larry, can you get the hell out of our kitchen? Toes, look out! Toes, the room! Toes! Ah! Okay, well, there goes my pork. Like, so it, it's like, it's kind of like that with schizophrenia. Uh, it's almost always horrifying, but after a while, you're almost like, just go away. Please just go away. And, it, and you can talk to people who have schizophrenia. And a lot of times they'll react to their hallucinations after they have the schizophrenia of like, oh yeah, I hallucinated dead bodies. It's whatever, you know, like they, they, multiple people do that. They're like, ah, oh, whatever. Cause it's, it's so horrifying that you just go, <laughs> it's just like a nuisance after a while. Um, yeah, I really don't know. You have to play the game and find out if what you're experiencing is hallucinations or not. And... The ideas and the other the other ideas that are presented in the game that I don't think are hallucinations in the game, like you being a robot, I think it's part of the storyline. Um, 
them making an animatronic pig that comes to life. I think that's part of the story. Those things are part of the story, but those are pretty... I mean, if someone said they hallucinated that they were a robot, that they had a chip in their brain that controlled them, I would be like, yeah, that sounds like schizophrenia. Or there's a, there's a, a man that merged with an animatronic pig, and now he's throwing things at people. If a schizophrenic said that, I'd be like, okay, that's what you're hallucinating. Uh, so these ideas, these real extreme weird ideas, are not that weird when you have schizophrenia. Like, I had really strange delusions that made no sense whatsoever. And it, it was along the lines of a giant pig is in a warehouse somewhere. Uh, throwing food at people and is a part of a big scheme for a fast food restaurant. So, I kind of wanted to talk about the game because, and I, I really wanted to promote it and also wanted to show you the visuals so that you could look at it and go, okay, this is how people with schizophrenia have, like, how they can, can see the world in this really strange way. To get a visual, because I don't think people really understand like what it's like. Uh, and also, I am uh, making my own video game about schizophrenia. I'll put some footage here so that you can see it. It will not be the same as Happy Humble Burger Farm. It's actually more mundane, which uh, I'm kind of yeah, it, it is. Which I kind of, after I made the game, kind of felt like it was a shame. I kind of got, I feel like I got inspired by Happy Burger Farm, uh, Happy Humble Burger Farm. I feel like I was kind of inspired, so if I extend the game or it goes to a full release, which hopefully it will, it's going to have a Kickstarter, and I hope the Kickstarter succeeds so we can have a full game about schizophrenia. Uh, but, so I will be making my own game, and I think it'll reflect this one a little bit more but if you want to check out like the videos I have over my own game about schizophrenia and how it's like to see the world that way uh there's videos in my youtube that show devlogs of the game so if you want to check it out check you know check it out there anyway uh I think that's about it I think the visual like the the reactions of Ethan and Markiplier really sum up this bizarre reality that the game creates that you that gets created for people with schizophrenia. And everybody's different. Remember that. So if you have schizophrenia, you did not deal with anything like the video game. I think that's valid. Because there's some people who think that sen sensationalized, that, that kind of bloody or horrif horrific uh, situation as far as schizophrenia is sen sensationalized. Meaning it's like put in media to be make it more scary, this gets to be more scary, or make it seem more extreme. But there's people who actually have hallucinated these things that lead these horrible things in reality. Like I know somebody was like eating a fetus. Uh that was one of her hallucinations. So it's kinda like that it can get to that extreme. Anyway, let me know if you liked this video. I would like to do more of these. I'm just... <sighs> when you have schizophrenia, you don't have any energy. So if you do like them, you know, if you like it or you leave a comment, it does help quite a bit. Because it's like, oh, people are interested. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you guys. And maybe next time I'll do another video game like Silent Hill or something. Because Silent Hill is another really great example of simulated psychosis. I have, even though there's, I have complaints about it being a, psych, a simulation of psychosis, I have my thoughts, but that'd be another good video to do. I, I have a lot of video ideas. Anyway, I'll see you.